that's what we want. The yeah. government to step down. Yes. With the support of the people. Yes. Are you With asking the, support the people, of the people. Yeah. And if not, so, ilan yung pwersa niyo, sir? So, sir, makikipag- We have around 2,000 men. Uh, okay. bakit, ka, bakit kami aalis? Mm. Bakit kami aalis? Sir, kami sir, nasa tama. They should be... Hindi, we're not the crooks. We're not the bad guys here. Kami yung good guys. Sila yung mga kurakot. Sila yung nagbebenta ng... Yun, sila paalisin nyo. Hindi, basta tangon ko nila, may mga demands nila which I feel was uh, very rigid and sinabi ko lang sa kanila, i-open nila mga minds nila na uh, dapat walang mapapala tayo kung magkaputukan na sinabi ko, walang putukan ano? Excuse me. Please, please, can you please evacuate? Yeah. <laughs> uh, very relieved, yeah. Uh, mainly because of the kids, I worry, you know, that we might be stuck in there for days with no water and things like that. But, um I would like to address this message directly to the soldiers in Makati. This is your Commander-in-Chief. I would like to remind you that there is absolutely no justification for the actions you have taken. You have crossed the line of professionalism and are now engaged in unlawful political action backed by the use of force. Your actions are already hovering at the fringes of outright terrorism. You will find no support for your actions among our people and the world. I ask you to remember your oath to the flag. You have already stained the uniform. Do not drench it with dishonor. I ask others in the armed forces to keep to the constitutional side of the line. I am duty bound under the same oath you took to uphold the Constitution at all times. For this reason, I am giving you up to five o'clock this afternoon to stand down, surrender down your weapons, and return to barracks. Past this deadline, the Chief of Staff is authorized to use reasonable force to dislodge your group quickly and efficiently and arrest you. Pag may sumabog tumamaya, 